Good morning, folks. We've got big notes on the earthquakes and volcanoes, aesthetic and critically important science news as well. Right now, we're eyeing the new incoming active region, so let's begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. There's absolutely no activity on the Earth-facing disk. Solar flaring is low and stable. Solar winds still extremely calm. So let's focus on that incoming sunspot group. Umbra visible at the limb this morning, so eyes on those today. Speaking of aesthetic, sizable plasma filament departing on the south polar crown, the curves you see arching near the top are the signature of a coronal cavity, more easily seen as the carved darker shades around it here. If the solar wind does not intensify today, that southern system might have missed. It is sparse anyway. Top left, we see the next opening turning in ahead of the sunspot group. A little cosmic ray note. We've previously seen Mexico City at their record highs, and now Northern Europe is getting there too. Only the peak of last cycle outdid where we are now, and we are heading higher. The top lithospheric event of importance was another volcano eruption in Hawaii. Looking back across the eruption list, we see a bit has changed. We went from 5.3s at the end of May, bottom left, up to 5.4s, and that 5.5 on June 5th has now been downgraded to 5.4 as well. Since then, we ticked back down for two days, up yesterday, and await the next one to see if a trend higher is at hand. Speaking of volcanoes, Fuego in Guatemala has officially killed more than 100 people. More than 200 are still missing. We've heard about entire families being lost, eyewitness accounts of lava and ash hitting the village, and some lost more than you can imagine. Let's jump to space where this old optical light image of NGC 3199 has been updated in a new release from the ESA. Their X-ray satellite snapped this image, where the blue is the highly ionized gas emitting those X-rays, while the yellowish-green is false color for oxygen, red for sulfur. Quite the display. In the wake of Chandra's recent realization that Centauri is not overly bathed in radiation, a minimal crew has been calculated for the journey based on mating pairs. They say 50 people drives almost certain extinction in about 50% of the cases, while 98 people increases survival en route by a wide margin. For those who want to read a good paper on total electron content related to earthquakes, this 2017 paper has been posted to Archive for free, link below. Always nice to see how they tie electricity to the shakes. Astronomy turns sideways a bit here as polyaromatic hydrocarbons are likely not the source of those anomalous microwave emissions in the cosmos, but rather, it's nano-diamond dust from protoplanetary disks. Where is my Swiffer? Lastly, folks, if you haven't read our most influential paper, published 2015 on the solar polar fields and magnitude 8 earthquakes, or the six citations of it, I highly recommend the two from NASA scientists, it can be read at quakewatch.net, top right, but in looking at some more detail later this afternoon, we're going to see that a terrifying pattern of the past is happening again now. A few of them, actually. Details coming in a few hours. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.